Danny Sullivan, we're in your garage and you're getting ready to take a shower. And you have a house that, what, it doesn't have uh, regular electricity, it's got solar electricity, but you're, you've got this ingenious device here to make hot water. You want to tell us about it? Um, it's a small wood stove. You got popo burning in it now. And I rigged up this barrel, 16 gallons. Put some fittings on it and a whole a faucet. Then the new pump I bought. It's a small uh, recirculating pump for hot water. So flick the switch. Pumps the water out of the barrel into the house, up into the loft. I got a 20 gallon water heater in there. It's just a holding tank. And then uh, connected to that I have a shower head that runs through the ceiling over my bathtub. So, takes a couple hours to heat up the water and uh, few minutes to pump it into the house and then I'm ready to go. Pretty simple. What, what does it save you on energy costs? Um, the price of running a hot water heater, which uh, is maybe the second biggest energy user in your house, if it's electric. Um, you're heating that water all the time and you're only using it maybe 10 percent of the time so in a regular house you have a full maybe 50 gallons of hot water and at one time you might only use 20 gallons so it doesn't really cost anything to run it the water is a few cents few cents a barrel probably uh, to gasoline to run my generator and then once it's up in my loft everything is gravity fed so uh, the energy of gravity does a, a lot of the work for me. Then this little pump reverses that gravity flow so it brings it back up to a height where it can free flow again through the shower heads and through the bathtub faucet. Mm -hmm. Pretty ingenious. Yep, pretty simple. You gotta know how to do a little soldering, a little bit of electrical to hook up the pumps. And you're running this all on solar? Um, yeah, the pump runs on solar. I got filling right here, so. be nice to have a temperature gauge on it and then I have to rig up a, a fuel gauge see how full it is then I'll be downtown thanks for showing us this Danny Sullivan sure this is Nick Vanderpie reporting for news from IndianCountry.com on the Lakota Ray Reservation in northern Wisconsin <laughs>